<sighs> Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm sharing my plans for my weekend project. I always have weekend projects. And uh, this is a concept that I had when I was talking with um, Gary Knopp from TriTouch Services. Um, he's, he's also a strong advocate for training people. And it was through those conversations that I kind of refined this concept of something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And that is to build two separate boards. And these boards are portable and they're all laid out so that you can show people the utility of what happens when electricity comes into a building all the way to the outlet. And then the second board is going to be an exploded view of a generic medical device or a generic device. And the goal is, is that the boards are gonna have everything kind of laid out so that I can give you a multimeter and I can show you what you should expect here, 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 and here. And once you understand graphs, electricity, and electric principles, then you will migrate from one board to the next because now you'll understand how to use a multimeter and you can use that multimeter for troubleshooting on the second board, which is gonna be the exploded view of um, a generic device. So let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly what I've done so far. It is not a cheap endeavor, but I, I'm promising you guys that this is going to be one of the most amazing ways to teach people because everybody loves when you teach them a skill that they can use for the rest of their life, and that is the goal here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at my weekend project. All right, so here you can actually see that I'm, I'm working on part of it. This uh, is an actual isolation transformer. This guy is this guy right here. So let me uh, walk you through my concept. So this is the utility board. It's one of the two boards. And over here is going to be the mains, which comes into a main disconnector. And the main disconnector is gonna be very similar to what you'd find um, in a facility. In fact, right over here is my Amazon uh, BOM, my bill of materials. And you can see right here is the disconnector that I'm gonna have right here. And then you're gonna go from the main disconnector straight over into a series of breakers. Now, I understand that neutral and ground are not necessarily on breakers. I understand that, guys. But it's very important for troubleshooting reasons why I have a switch that I can shut on and off and that you can test. So you can see I've got ground neutral and uh, line, 120 volts, and those are all gonna be connected to breakers. I get it, guys. I understand why neutral and ground are not on breakers, but imagine that it's just a switch. So let's see. Um, I'll take you through. So right there is a three position switch, and you can see I've got some ground bus bars, and right there is a gang box, very important. So right here are some contactors. I'll show you guys what that's gonna be in a moment. These right here are the three circuit breakers. So you're gonna have your ground, your neutral, and your line connected directly to these guys. I've got a couple different types of wires and uh, I'm gonna use some of these waterproof adjustable cable glands uh, as my through panel fittings because normally uh, through panel fittings like right here, the knockouts, uh, they're normally a little bit abrasive. And uh, mind you that these things are gonna be transported around, people are gonna be around them. So I'm going to do the very irregular thing, and that is going to be put a cable gland nut through there instead of the traditional knockout clamp. So I'm gonna have a GFCI right here. So the GFCI is actually going to be over here on my very simple schematic. So this one's gonna be the GFCI because that is going to take standard 120 volts. So you're gonna have a ground reference on this one. On this receptacle in my gang box is going to be connected to the secondaries of my isolation transformer. So this is going to be uh, switchable. You can see I've got a light indicating which one is currently energized and my two contactors which are gonna be controlled by the three-way switch. So this here is going to select whether or not we're gonna be on isolated power or normal power. And these ones up here allow me, the breakers are gonna allow me to adjust certain conditions. 
Like, what do you have when you have a device connected to a GFCI, and then we interrupt, let's say, the ground condition or something. So we are gonna be able to simulate a hundred different things just with this board. And mind you, I said there's gonna be two different boards. This is gonna be my board for utility for the facility. And then I'm gonna have a board that's gonna be the exploded view of a medical device. So you got your power coming in with a lockout disconnector. So when I'm modifying the circuit, maybe implementing some bugs, I can lock this guy out and then I have free range to safely go through my entire board and do whatever I need to do to make it so that you know I can induce bugs. So you're gonna see that it's gonna have a three position switch on the front side of the board, but on the back side are gonna be these two contactors. And those two contactors are going to energize one circuit or the other. So you're either gonna be turning on your isolation transformer or you're going to be closing the contactor and sending the 120 volts directly over to your GFCI. Only one of them is gonna be energized at a time. That way there, um, people get used to uh, the different types of power sources. Now, this is something that I've kind of done on purpose, which I could eliminate that. I could run them in parallel so that um, my isolation power is always running and my GFCI is always being powered. But I believe that this gives me a few more options on the backside for inducing bugs. Anyway, it, this one here will also give you different indicators for your uh, electrical safety analyzer. Because if you are running isolated power, it's going to definitely give you some sort of uh, ground condition um, report. And if it's connected to a GFCI, well, you guys know that we can trip GFCIs and we can test them. So that is also something that we can do with this. But that's uh, just one of the things that I've been thinking about. So anyway guys, this is a concept that I've had for quite a while. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna be able to take these two boards and take them into your average college, your average technical school, your uh, average high school. And when you have uh, kids there, you can sit through a one hour long um, demonstration of what to expect let's say a half hour worth of theory, and then the other half, you can give them a multimeter and you can have them instantly start working on stuff. The goal of this is to get some inexpensive multimeters. And when you go to a school, the people that attend the class, that they will walk away with not only the knowledge of how to use that multimeter, but they're gonna keep their multimeter. I've given away many, many multimeters throughout the, the history of this channel. And now I think I'm going to take it one step further is I'm going to find some inexpensive but very effective multimeters and I'm going to present this class and when people attend the class they're going to walk away with a multimeter themselves and the knowledge to use it. See the key goal here is to give somebody a skill that they can use the rest of their life and they're going to have a tool. When you give somebody a skill and a tool you give them power. And many of these young people have never had that kind of power ever before. And what you're going to do is you're going to light a spark. And all that's all it takes is a little spark that says, hey, I can do this. Or, wow, I want to learn more about this. And that's the goal of this entire project. Not only is it an extremely effective way of demonstrating utility and how to troubleshoot a device, this is uh, going to give people a tool and a skill set. Let me know what you guys think.